thanks for coming round, Rob. It's always great to see you, and I hope you've got your professional head on, because as you know, I'm doing a party on Saturday night, and I need to get the best out of my new Britannia cooker. Have you got any thoughts? Well, since your phone call, mm -hmm. I've given it some thought, and I've got some really, really great ideas to impress your friends. Brilliant. I want to do that. Should we start cooking? I think so. Okay, Francesca, we're going to start with the dessert, which mm -hmm. is poached pears in red wine. Okay. I'm just going to pop the pears into the red wine, mm -hmm. and these are going to take about 40 minutes. Right. About 35, 40 minutes just to simmer away in the red wine until they go really nice and soft. Mm. Just pop those in there. You can actually smell Gorgeous. the... Gorgeous. Yeah, the aroma. It's mm. almost like mulled wine, isn't mm. it? What we're going to do for our main course yeah. is duck in the rotisserie with orange, garlic and thyme. Oh, I'm a bit apprehensive about this rotisserie. I've not used it yet. Oh, it's so easy. Really, really easy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did a duck the other week and I just did it in the oven. Why would I do it in the rotisserie? Well, I like the rotisserie because mm. it's a self-basting um, process, which... Um, keeps it really juicy. Keeps it really juicy. Mm. And also, it cooks evenly. Oh, does it? It does, yes. And does it cook any quicker? Um, well, this particular uh, duck is about two and a half pounds in weight. Yeah. And it would probably take in a conventional oven about an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. Mm. In the rotisserie, you're looking at about an hour. And the best That's thing great. is, it really stays moist. Yeah. So if you can pop that in the oven for me, oh, that'd be brilliant. Right, I can do that. So how does it work then? Um, well, it's quite simple really. There's a, a grill element at the top. Yeah. Um, and as the duck spins around, it cooks it evenly and keeps it really, really moist. Yeah. I like it because I had my other duck the other day in this. Because it's conventional oven as well, I've got the best of both worlds. Um, also what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of extra flavour with mm -hmm. these leftover bits, um, which will penetrate up into the duck mm. and make it even more flavoursome. And smell fantastic. And sure taste fantastic. <laughs> what we'll do now is just set the timer mm -hmm. for one hour, and then we'll just have to wait for it. Sorted. Fantastic. So what we're going to serve with mm. our uh, roast duck is some Hasselback potatoes. Oh, nice. And then take some of that hot duck fat from there. Yeah. Just so they go all nice and crisp when they're in the oven. Mm. And speaking of ovens, when the oven is up to temperature, we yeah. can pop them in. Already done it, Rob. I've used Quick Start. What's Quick Start? Oh, it's a unique feature. It's fantastic. It's one of the reasons I bought this oven. Basically, it gets the oven up to 200 degrees in six minutes. You'd love it being a pro. I wish I had that in my kitchen, mm, I, I tell you. Tell me. Fantastic. Right, we're ready. Yeah, you pass me the oven good. Thank you very much. And we'll pop these in. Lovely. I'll tell you what, Rob, these telescopic shelves are great. They make life so much easier, don't yeah. they? Yeah. What do you want it on? Fan assisted? Fan assisted's good, yeah. Okay. You've got loads of functions on that oven, haven't you? I've got loads. I mean, I use conventional a lot. Yeah. Top element, brilliant for browning. And you know I like to bake? I do. True fan oven is perfect. I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> <Yeah, I bet. laughs> We're going to be doing our starter now mm. on the chef top. Yeah. Which we're going to do is um, seared scallops with pancetta and asparagus. So we're going to do it all on the chef top. All on the chef top, yeah. Right. It's okay. Really, really simple to use. Yeah. Um, such a great thing as well. You know, anything that you sort of pan fry, any teppanyaki, anything that you would griddle yeah. or grill, you can do on this. So this is the thing. I mean, I have used this and I love it, but I know I'm going to use it more the more I get to know what I can do on it. And we'll just flip that over. That's, that's cooking up already. Beautiful. So I can do my tuna on here as well, can't I? because I like to just sear it, so I can do that on here. But also, you know, steaks, um, you can do salmon on here, mm. you could do uh, a stir frying on here. And what I like about it as well is it's healthy eating, isn't it? Because all is. the fat drains down here into this tray. Precisely. And you just wipe it away. And you wipe it away. Yeah. Exactly. So what we'll do now is get our scallops mm -hmm. on there. You can hear that sort of sizzling yeah. away, and like, like I say, we're keeping it in the centre there because we want to sort of keep that sort of uh, flavour in there. We, you know, we don't want the high wanna, heat. The high heat, yes, yeah, yeah. so we want to just seal that flavour in there. But now you're cooking them both together at the same time on there. It doesn't transfer the, the, oh, the flavours. You know, okay. the, the scallops will cook quite happily there, pancetta there, and the flavours won't transfer to one another. Together. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think we're probably almost there. You know, what I'll get you to do. Mm -hmm. It's just um, put a little bit of olive oil yeah. over that rocket there. Right. And um, just put a little bit in the centre of the plate for me. Yeah. And the last thing we're going to do with the scallops is obviously because it is a fish, we're yeah. going to put a little bit of lemon on it. Mm -hmm. So we'll just drizzle that over there. Oh. And that flavour will sort of yeah. go into them scallops and we'll just put those around the side. That looks brilliant. 
that'll be like a little wild factor for yeah. your guests you know whilst they're sat there <laughs> lovely stuff now how Beautiful. easy is it to clean Rob it's really really easy mm -hmm. just let it cool down take some um, hot soapy water yeah. a stainless steel scourer mm -hmm. and just sort of brush it over and then just wipe it with a bit of cloth and that's it you Jordan. don't even have to take it off the oven so easy mm, so you grab a couple need of forks a couple of forks you read my mind <laughs> Right, Francesca, we'll check the potatoes now. Oh, they look delicious. That shelf makes life so much easier. <laughs> Doesn't it? What was it called again? Telescopic. Telescopic. Yeah, they're right. great, and I'll tell you what else is brilliant. The Stay Clean liners make it so easy to keep it clean. Well, what I'm doing is just basting them now with the uh, duck fat. Mm -hmm. Just so they stay nice and crispy. Yep. And if I can get you just to sprinkle over probably about half of that sage okay. and lemon there, yep. just over the potatoes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add a few cloves of garlic in there as well. And then we're done. That's it. So we pop them back in there. Mm. Now we're going to do our vegetables on the chef top. Brilliant. Um, so what we do is just roasted vegetables with olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and finish it off with some fresh basil. And it will go really well with the roast duck and the Hasselblad potatoes. Really simple and healthy as well. Just keep mixing them around. Mm. Uh, just moving around the chef top a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, obviously we know that that centre bit there is the hottest point. Yeah. So anything that's not cooking is quick, mm -hmm. keeping the centre. If it's cooking too quick, just move it out to the sides a little yeah. bit. Okay, Francesca, let's check the duck. Mm. Oh. Wow, that looks really good. That looks amazing. Have I given you the confidence to use it? You certainly have. Often? It's easy. It is. Yeah. So, so easy. Yeah. Okay, let's take it out. So we'll just screw that back on there. I'll just guide them out. Oh, if you can grab the roast potatoes, mm -hmm. that'd be really good, Francesca, thank you. Right. And I'll just remove this rotisserie now. You just literally unwind it and just pull it off the end. And if you can put those potatoes around the edge for me, that'd be brilliant. These are great. They do, don't they? Fantastic. The smell is amazing. Mm -hmm. Look how easy that is. Look at that. Straight out, no problem whatsoever. Good enough to eat, Rob. Okay, this is uh, this syrups are ready now. Mm. So you can turn the gas off. That's yeah. been brilliant. So what we're looking for mm -hmm. is um, the syrup just to coat the back of the spoon, oh, which it does okay. beautifully there. Mm. So what we do just pour that over the pears there. You can really smell the spices, can't you? And the colour's just amazing. Mm. You know, and it complements all the meal. Beautiful. I notice you've got a triple ring burner there mm. as well. Can imagine that's really useful. It's great. It's really powerful heat. You know, big pan of pasta boils the water in no time at all. It's brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. And how do you find this cooker performs in, in open plan? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is a family room. You know, we have family meals in here. Very, very sociable room. And this cooker is so quiet. I mean, one of the main reasons I bought a Britannia was for the build quality. It's just fantastic. You know, triple glazed doors. It's well insulated. And it's just a really solid cooker. I yeah. love it. Oh, I'm very, very jealous. I wish I had one. I mean, just working on it today has just been absolutely fantastic. I thought you'd Thoroughly like it. enjoyed it. <laughs> Cheers.